Battlefield 5 is a first-person shooter game created by DICE and released by Electronic Arts, or EA. It was made available on November the 20th, 2018 for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Microsoft Windows. And it is the 11th major Battlefield game overall and the follow-up to Battlefield 1 from 2016. Early access to the game was made available to those who pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition on November the 15th, 2018, while Origin Premium PC customers were given access to the game on November the 9th, 2018, with more advanced visuals, maps, and gameplay overall. The game ranked as the top 10 best-looking first-person shooter game of 2018 at the time, and unlike other Battlefield games, it returns the franchise to its beginnings by taking place during World War II. So, what kind of gaming engine does this game employ, and how does it stack up against other engines? The Frostbite game engine was created by DICE, and it is compatible with Microsoft Windows, the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 from the 7th generation, the Xbox One and Nintendo Switch from the 8th generation, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S from the 9th generation, as well as the cloud streaming service, Google Stadia. The video game engine is primarily used in Battlefield series such as Battlefield 5, but it is eventually added to other shooter games like Army of Two, as well as several other game genres like FIFA 23. Electronic Arts video games have been the only ones to use Frostbite up until this point. In 2008, the video game Battlefield Bat Company introduced the first edition of the Frostbite gaming engine, or Frostbite 1. The engine's HDR audio and destruction features were implemented for the first time. Players were able to distinguish between different sound levels thanks to HDR audio, and they could also damage some of the surrounding buildings thanks to destruction physics. Later, a newer version of Frostbite called Frostbite 1.5 was used in Battlefield 1943 in 2009 and Battlefield Bat Company 2 in 2010. It became feasible for players to completely destroy structures thanks to the improved destruction physics engine. The multiplayer component of Medal of Honor 2010 also used this version, making it the first video game not in the Battlefield series to do so. Frostbite 2 made its appearance in Battlefield 3 on October the 25th, 2011. It has strong enhancements including real-time radiosity, or global illumination, and deferred rendering, that have elevated the game's aesthetics to a new level. Destruction 3.0, which made falling debris deadly to the player, was another element that transformed the Battlefield series into what it is today. Suppressive fire was also added, and the engine was modified to disable vehicles before destroying them. Due to the advancement in technology, Electronic Arts began to consider adopting the engine and using capabilities like global illumination in other games. Thus, with 2011's Need for Speed The Run, which was published on November the 15th of the same year, Frostbite was introduced for the first time in a game that was neither a shooter nor produced by DICE. Need for Speed The Run's creator, EA Black Box, needed a year to adapt the game engine from shooting to driving. That demonstrates the amount of technological advancement this engine achieved. DICE rendering architect Johan Andersen stated later that year that future computer video games based on Frostbite would require 64-bit operating systems. So, on October the 23rd, Medal of Honor Warfighter made history by being the first title in its genre to include Frostbite 2 in both single-player and multiplayer modes. In the final half of the year, the game Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, which made its premiere on March 26, 2013, was the first third-person shooter game to use Frostbite 2. And yet the last one to feature this version of the engine while using all the additional capabilities and the new support for 64-bit processors. On October 29, Battlefield 4 introduced Frostbite's third generation, the environment in the updated engine became substantially more dynamic in reaction to player activities in Destruction 4.0, commonly known as Levolution, giving players the ability to blow up a water treatment facility on one map, flooding the whole region with water. 
the ability to demolish everything you see in your range of vision, which was exclusive to Battlefield's Frostbite 3 game engine, gave the game a distinctive appearance and feel. This helped the game develop a large and devoted fanbase that has lasted to this day. Finally, Frostbite is a highly powerful and sophisticated engine. It was specifically designed for the intention of causing destruction and facilitating large battles involving a large number of players and a wide range of army vehicles in a single lobby. But this does not change the reality that such an engine is extremely complex, to the extent that problems with development were discovered with two Bioware titles and Battlefield 2042. Its uniqueness makes it an engine that nobody can replicate. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and hit the like button, and see you in the next one.